as Olympic champion for 48 kilograms. Uh, and Rekha Pup, one of the most consistent in the category, always in the final or fighting for a, a medal every tournament. But this lady here is an absolute monster, and she, and I mean that in the nicest way. I mean a judo monster in as that she's always looking for Ripon. Uh, this should be an absolute cracker of a final, it should be. And I think that Krasniki, the reason I wanted to know is I think she's after revenge here. She's going to show, try and show uh, Pup that she means business in this category. Yeah, you're quite right. Krasniki. I've just heard uh, that, that um, they actually warmed each other up. Can you believe that in the warm up area this morning? Interesting. She'll have to do something with that uh, sleeve that mm. she's pinning down there, Krasniki. You can't just pin it down. Oh, look at that. Oh, dearie me. Oh, son of Gary there gets the Wazari. Now just needs to hold for 10 seconds. How easy did she make that one look? Oh, my goodness. Gets the 10 seconds, gets the uh, Wazari Wazetti upon, and she made that look easy. She did that, didn't she? Uh, two tournaments ago in the final, exactly that. Osoto and into the hold. Yeah, like you say, it does come across as looking very simple. So the hard work goes into getting to the position where you can make it look that easy. But it's Distria Krasnicki of Kosovo who comes up with the gold medal is an almost sheepish holding up of the hands shy almost absolutely brilliant because yes. that was against a really good up on form world rank number three lady there is so good with that Osoto and you can't give her that angle there I think Puck will be looking at that going I really made a big mistake there my body positioning was all wrong Krasnicki came in here this morning as the number three seed.